So Michael's going to place his hands on the wide handles here, and Kim's going to keep her hands just centered onto the triangle. All right, so we're going to go right into the full expression here of the high lunge. Okay, so first off, I just want you to come up into your plank, and then you're going to go through a pike. So lift your hips right up, and then press out, and you're going to take your right leg and lunge it to the floor. Inhale, you're going to go straight up again, and the opposite leg is going to go to the floor. We're just going to alternate between the two sides. Inhale, coming right back up, and careful not to sink the hips too low. You want to keep some integrity through the core right there. Beautiful. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, bringing it forward, placing that foot firmly on the mat. Good. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, and pressing that leg outward. Beautiful. Lengthening through. Inhale, coming back up. Looks great, you guys. You're looking wonderful. Exhale, left leg. One more set. Inhale, coming back through. Exhale, right leg first. That's it. And then the last set. Inhale, coming back up. Last time on that left side. And bring it all the way back up. And drop your knees. Again, child's pose here just to get a little break. Inhale to stay there. Exhale, you can release your arms in either position overhead or down by your sides long. Either way is fine. We're readying ourselves now for the pigeon pose. So the pigeon pose is another really great exercise in opening up the hips, but more the backside, more the glute area, the lateral rotators. So when you're ready, you can roll yourselves back up and we're gonna have that same hand position. Uh, Michael's gonna take the handles and Kim's gonna take the top. So. You can come back up into your plank position. So if you would, just go into your plank and go into your pike. You're going to do that one more time, pushing out and then going back up. Now you're going to bring your right knee in and place it on the carriage for your pigeon pose. And then before you get started into the, we're going to be adding some arms here. Before you get started there, I just want you to go forward for a moment. Just let your spine reach forward and lengthen out over. Just to find that stretch that I'm talking about of those lateral rotators, you probably feel that quite a bit. Inhale to stay and then exhale to come all the way back up.